As, uh, we have many programs that we, got, we want to use to empower our people. One of them is the no academic fee stress policy. It means that all the young people here in secondary school enjoying free SHS. I just read the story of a girl who was helping her mother to roast plantain. She qualified for medical school in UDS, but she could not take her place in school because her mother does not have, to pay, have money to pay her fees. And that is why we are introducing the no academic fee stress policy. And that means that for all students finishing free SHS, if you get admission into nursing training, into college of education, into technical university, into university, in the first year, you will not pay any academic fees. As uh, we don't want these painful stories where brilliant students are able to pass for tertiary education but cannot take their place because their parents cannot afford it. In the first year, you go without fees. While you are in school, you will register for the student loan. Second year, we'll give you the student loan. You pay your fees. You pay third year. You pay fourth year. When you finish, you start paying back the loan only when you get a job. If you don't get a job, you don't pay. If you get a job, you pa start paying little by little by little. As, uh, as, uh, we were building e-blocks, community day schools. One of them we were building here in Zabzugu constituency. When our brothers NPP came, when the elephant came to town, they abandoned the school. No problem. We are coming back. We are coming to continue the school and finish the e-block for you so that our children can go to school. We are going to finish the e-block and we are going to add a dormitory block to it so that the children who don't come from the community can get a place to stay and be able to study in the uh, community day school. As, uh, as, uh, we are going to empower our women because our mothers need just a little capital, 1,000 Ghana cities, 2,000 Ghana cities to do their, their work. And when our mothers work, our sisters work, when they get profit, they bring it back home. And so the Women's Development Bank will give them small loans. We want to help at least 200,000 women every year with small loans. They will be giving the loans with very low interest, no collateral. And they will pay little by little by little until they finish paying so that they can also empower themselves. There are many other programs for teachers, working people. If you are a teacher, you are a nurse, you are a government worker, and you have 20 years or 15 years to retirement, you can go into a housing scheme. We'll build a small house for you, one bedroom, two bedroom. It will be in cities. We'll deduct the money gradually from your salary after 15 years, 20 years, you finish paying for the house. When you come on retirement, you take your key and go into your own house without going to stay in your family house. As, as, uh, for those of you who want a means of transport, if you are a worker and you earn a salary, you want a motorcycle loan, you want a loan to buy a small car, we will give you that loan. You buy the vehicle on high purchase, we'll deduct it from your salary until you finish paying and you own the motorcycle or the vehicle. As, as, uh, you see, the height of hypocrisy is when you say one thing and do something else. Or 
When you see something is white, you say it's black. When it's black, you say it's white. That is hypocrisy for you. Our brother who is trying to run for president, he was brought to come and fix the economy. His presidential candidate, Akufuado, told us, I'm bringing a young man. That man is going to come and stabilize our currency and fix our economy. That's what he told us. Today, the young man who was brought to fix the economy has failed to fix the economy. And when you ask him, he says, oh, I was only a driver's mate. I was not a driver. I was only a driver's mate. And yet, a few days ago, I saw 33 policies implemented by Dr. Baumi. He said you were only a driver's mate. So when it comes to the credit, that one you take it for yourself. When it comes to the debit, you hand it over to your president. That is the height of hypocrisy. I worked with my president. Everything that we implemented, we implemented together. I have never ever run away from the record of Professor Tamils. May his soul rest in peace. As, uh, as Vice President to President Mills, I accept everything that went wrong. As Vice President to President Mills, I accept everything that went right. Because we work together as a team. In this case, this Vice President says, this one I don't accept. Because I gave advice, they didn't listen. This one, I did it. This one, I did it. That is hypocrisy. You give the credit to yourself where there's credit. Where there's no credit, you hand it over to your president. But Ghanaians are discerning. We want leaders who are truthful. We want leaders who are honest. We want leaders who take responsibility. We don't want leaders who push the blame always onto others. And that is MPP for you. When they came the first four years, if you ask them why things were not going well, everything that was going wrong was Mahama. First year, Mahama. Second year, Mahama. Third year, Mahama. Fourth year, Mahama. Ezu. Then when Ghanaians were tired of Mahama, fifth year, when they won again, uh, uh, COVID-19. Sixth year, COVID-19. Seventh year, Russia-Ukraine war. Today, Russia-Ukraine war. People who cannot face challenges and fix them can never change your lives. And that is why we need honest and truthful leaders who are prepared to face the challenges head on and sort them out for us. I know that one of the major problems we have here is our road network. And I've said that we're going to prioritize the road network we're going to fix the bridges so that we can enhance the economic potential of this area. A lot of food is produced in this area. But the difficulty of getting the food from the rural areas to the market centers is what makes the price of transporting the food high. And so if we fix the bridges, we fix the roads, it will make the transport fares cheaper and it will make food cheaper in the market centers when we transport it there. As, uh, as, uh, we are going to establish a farmer service center here. Each farmer service center will register all the farmers in the constituency. And when the time for farming comes, we will supply you with the subsidized fertilizers. We will supply you with condemned will supply you with mechanized agricultural services. will supply you with improved seeds. Every farmer service center will have 15 agricultural tractors. And we're going to establish one here in Zabzugu. The plowing fee will be low. If you are registered with the center when it's farming season, you want to plow your farm, you go there, they'll bring a tractor, they'll plow for you, they'll charge you very low plowing fee. If you can't pay, they'll put it on credit. You get your subsidized fertilizer, everything you want from your center. When you harvest 
and you go and sell, you come and pay the credits that they have given you. And so on 7th December, all of us should look out for the umbrella. Sing your name, people, people, ma. Uh, the 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 yule number eight ma yende yule akatawiyama lemma eh lemma kaya yule and nang at fingerprint ma so look out for the umbrella the NDC umbrella you see my picture next to it and there'll be a box here white you put your fingerprint when you put your fingerprint take the rag or the tissue and clean your thumb well so that it will dry and then you take the ballot paper and you fold it those who don't know how to vote and you are afraid you make a mistake with your ballot you are allowed to go with your child or your brother or your sister to help you to vote it is called assisted voting so when you get to the voting center if you are not sure how to vote go with one of your relatives and you tell the presiding officer, I want this, my relative, to help me to vote. It is allowed. The law allows it. They allow you to go in and you go and vote. Ezu. Ati and Voti. Kabumi Bovoti Shem. Anton Zang Abia. Be Abiele. Be. Atuzo and Chang and yell electoral officer ma na abor no oka to songa ka anung abot ma anto nung lala dama tebobor na so some o ballot paper ma we don't want spoiled ballots so you go with somebody you trust to help you to vote a vote nai ka ab how do you call you clean your thumb. Kanya Nubla Anudo Abotina Kanya Nudoma Poe Kana Ba Paper Ma. Um, how do you fold it? Um, Fabley, uh huh, um, Fabley Mangala, Damalima Dunaya. As a Tubu Borra, Skirt and Blouse. Tobo bar skirt and blouse. Anya now kochana bon bondolo obia bebo ana bunye na hu ne chenga ka wobgo bi ndolo dokonang dokonang lala aha dozugo a vote te jm ya the same se ka vote te obi ma ka omuna omuna te tum ntinya the same same na present in champ parliament and chant to boba and the legerman can't nang soyama those go at at to be ka what could be a champ parliament and to garse the money the cotton bebo aha does go yp to jm ka yp to mbima and to zuma alasan umar ka yp and to as as a desigo and yeah well uh no bebo and yeah well no zuxa kaso di shida kama ngun konko and yet, parliamentary candidate TM uh, P and to 7th December 2024. Kaso Kamza P and Alasan Umar. So, John Dramani Mahama has just hey, introduced the MP hey, Zab uh, Zabsgu. Now, Ling Albarka Ling Yane. Metuma Pam. Like skirt and blouse here. From here, we are moving on to Tatane, which will be the last stop as he wraps up his uh, campaign tour, day one of the northern region. So let's uh, meet again at Tatale.